Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions whatsoever you would like to contact me please do so. Um, just check out the YouTube description box right below the video and you will be able to find a um, list of readings, an email, whatever it is that you need from me is most likely right below the video. Um, that being said, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always greatly appreciated. Um, so let's get straight to this reading. These are messages coming from spirit that are meant for you. Now we're going to be speaking here about different messages. So we're speaking about your love life, we're speaking about career, we're speaking about health, self-esteem, uh, power in your life. So let's go straight for it. I have four messages here. I am going to reveal one of them here also, which is going to be the main energy of the reading, what you must not forget. So we have the five of cups. I have the two of wands, five of wands, and I also have over here a uh, tradition. So let's turn your overall. This is about taking a stand. So when we're speaking here about taking a stand, what we truly want to say is that you're going to have to take your stand here somewhere. I know that sounds repetitive, doesn't it? But I, as I can see here is that with the Five of Cups, there is going to be some heartache. Maybe you're going through a breakup or something is going to be coming up. You're going to have to use your power. You're going to have to, it's going to be a test of courage. And that being said, that is what is going on within the reading over here. I'm going to get into detail in just a moment. So the main energy about taking a stand is about using your power. It's about, you know, having to rely on your own judgment is what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to move quickly to where it's a whole lot safer for you, where um, safer, not just physically, it can be emotionally, psychologically, for your whole being, for your soul. There may even be a challenge to your position or maybe your relationship. Um, so this is something that you have to think about. You have to take a stand. You have to welcome the challenges that are going to be coming to you. You have to embrace your rivals when, uh, you know, when they do have some great ideas, but don't let them hurt you. Okay. Because that is, that is where it is no longer tolerable. It is no longer accepted. And that is where you need to take that stand. You just need to remember that what you have, who you are, you are unique. And while somebody else can do something, they can make a lot of noise, they can do maybe try and show you that they can do something better than you. Well, you know what? You need to take heart. You need to remember that all challenges are natural and you need to keep on moving forward. You need to be brave heart. Okay. So this is really about spirit saying, please take a stand no matter where it is, maybe into the relationship. I said here, there's going to be a breakup or something's going to be going on here. Take a stand. Don't let anybody put you down on any front. Um, so with the five of cups over here, unfortunately, um, you're maybe going through a breakup or maybe you're not completely, you know, heartbroken right now, but it's likely that you may be feeling Maybe even disappointment. Maybe you're not breaking up. Maybe this for some of you is, is breakup. For others, maybe this is about a certain disappointment within a love relationship. Um, it could also, I have to say, if you're not into a relationship or even if you are, it could also relate to any uh, work opportunity. Okay, so maybe there is something. There is something that is going off within your life right now. May it be love or may it be career. Something is not suiting you, um, not meeting your expectations. And you've had some really high hopes and now you're kind of feeling yourself stuck into the same familiar pattern. Something that is of a, of a cycle that just keeps coming back for you. So you may even feel that, you know, the world isn't really on your side right now. But you need to take time to sh to just kind of shake off all of those thoughts. Take take a break. Go somewhere, you know, uh, completely new. Do something that's going to change your mind. You need a fresh outlook. You need, uh, you know, with a real idea of how you're going to participate in bringing these situations about. About what you can do to remedy to them. 
or really what is your next step if you prefer um, if we move on over to um, your own power over here with the two of wands so the two of wands over here with your own power is truly about speaking about how you need to use that power that you have and that power the true power that you have it comes from one place and it comes from within and you're doing a great job with your within okay absolutely fantastic but you need to not rely on the assessment of others to make you feel good and uh, you need to believe. You need to believe in your own worth is what spirit wants to tell you. You need to stay true to your dreams. And you need to be very, very careful. There is a warning within this message coming from spirit. If anybody is trying to kind of like butter you up with some smooth talking, be very, very careful, okay? Make sure that whatever it is that you are embarking in, that you're agreeing upon is truly what you want. Stay true to yourself use your power quite wisely and um, moving on over over here to the test of courage with the five of wands well you know um there could be a major you know there could be something quite you know some some type of hassle that could be taking place here whether it's overt or politically underground you know that there is a serious power struggle going on somewhere within your life here and you're worried you're worried about it and you know in your gut that the direction that this is going in um and you know that there's many obstacles and you're just worn out the five of wands is about wanting to take that one of those wands and to fight back and to know and to continue on to the path that you wish to go upon but not being able to because the energy is kind of lacking okay because maybe you're afraid to take a stand maybe you're just worn down from everything from all the fights from all the hassle from all the arguing this is about following the rules about stop fighting taking yourself out of that firing line coming up with a solution acting on it and don't beat up those who stood into your way don't beat up upon yourself this is not about putting yourself down this is about putting yourself up this is about taking a stand and we're going to uh, conclude this reading over here with a nostalgia reflection um over here so this is about, you know, they say it's the way that the world is, you know, it's the established order, what most folks accept as some kind of natural order, um, a fait accompli, if you will, about where there's nothing that you can do. Sometimes we just say, or people will tell you, you know what, this relationship or this career, whatever has happened here, there's nothing you can do about it, right? Well, these are the sorts of conservative messages that you're going to be hearing. So you need to remember, no knee-jerk reactions simply listen and wonder is this really true is it really true for you for your case for your situation is there a best way is there a right order a code that's untouchable when working on your very own personal code of ethics you would do well to listen to the wisdom of others but you need to be respectful and then without making a big noise about it choose whatever works for you allow others to know what is right for them and this is your time to learn what you truly feel to be the very best way for you to walk through this world, to walk through these challenges that you're facing right here. And this, my dear friends, does complete your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that Spirit brought you some very interesting messages that you will be able to use. If you'd like to contact me, all my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button. And I do wish you a beautiful day. I thank you for being there. And I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Any blessings to you.